to tell us die here. It's Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. I hope each and every one of you are doing okay. I pray, pray for you each and every single day, sometimes several times a day. As we all know, um, things are heating up. As the book of Revelation tells us, once these things begin to happen, it's just going to spiral. It's going to happen faster and faster. As we look around, it certainly appears that things are moving faster and faster. Whenever the Lord lays something on my heart, or He opens my, my eyes to something, and it's, I end up in a place where it's not at all where I started, I, I just, the Holy Spirit stirs within me, and I know whatever it is He's led me to see, I am to share. And the more I dug into this, which again is, I started off looking up something, um, which just happened to be in one of the books I was reading. Um, the word I looked up was surname and um, just led me down a trail and I ended up looking up the word Latin and then I ended up in the definition seeing a word called ancient Latium and I'm telling you it just once I started digging into this I just knew that I had to share with my brothers and sisters and throw up a video here real quick. The map you're looking at is ancient Latium and it's even described as a upside-down triangle where Vatican City resides. Go figure. Now I'm going to read this to you. And you just take from it what you will. I just I found this to be very, very enlightening or illuminating. Latium is the region in central western Italy and the entirety of Vatican City in which the city of Rome was founded and grew to be the capital city of the Roman Empire. Latium was originally a small triangle of fertile vol volcanic soil in which resided on the tribe of the Latins or the, the, the Latians. It was located on the left bank east and south of the river Tiber, extending northward to the river Aneo and southward to the Pom Pompatia Palace, as far south as the Circian Promontory. The right bank of the Tiber was occup occupied by the Estrusian city of Vae, and the other borders were occupied by Italic, Italic tribes. Subsequently, Rome defeated VEII -E -I -I, and then its Italic neighbors, expanding Latium to the Apennine Apenin, Apenin Mountains, in the northeast and to the opposite end of the marsh in the southeast. The modern descendant, the Italian region of Lazio, also called Latium in Latin and occasionally in modern English, is somewhat larger still, though less twice less than twice the size of the original Latium. The, uh, the geography, the earliest known Latium was the country of Latini, a tribe whose recognized center was a large dormant volcano. Mons Albanus, or the Alban Mount. Uh, it's just to the southeast of Rome, 64 kilometers in circumference. Its center is a crater lake, Lacus Albanus, or Lago Albano, oval in shape, a few kilometers long and wide at the top of the sea. second highest peak, Monte Cavo, was a temple to Jupiter where the Latini held state functions before their subject, subjection to Rome and the Romans subsequently held religious and state ceremonies. The last pagan temple to be built stood until the Middle Ages when its stone and locations were used for various monasteries and finally a hotel. During World War II, the Wehrmacht turned it into a radio station. A radio station which was captured by an infantry battle by American troops in 1944 and is currently a controversial telecommunication station surrounded by antenna considered unsightly by the population within view. The selection of Jupiter as a state god and the descent of the name Latini to the name of Latin language are sufficient to identify the Latins as a tribe of Indo-European descent. Virgil, a major poet of the early early Roman Empire under Augustus derived Lat Latium from the word for hidden because in a myth Saturn ruler of the golden age in cities 
root ruler of the golden age in Latium, hid from Jupiter there. A major modern et etymology is that Lazio comes from the Latin word lattice, meaning wide, expressing the idea of a flat land, meaning the Roman, the Roman Campania. The region that would become Latium had been settled to agricultural populations since the early Bronze Age and was known to the ancient Greeks and even earlier to the Mycenaean Greeks. The name is most likely derived from the Latin word lattice, meaning wide, expressing the idea of flat land in contrast to the local Sabine high country. All of these villages were politically sovereign and each of them was self-governing. The closeness of descent in their common language not only pervaded all of them but manifested itself in all important religious and political institutions, the Latin League. The Latins were tied together by religious associations including the worship of Venus, Jupiter, and of Diana at the Lake of Arisisi. I'm probably mispronouncing and hacking all that up, I'm sorry. So by virtue of her proximity to the sanctuary of Jupiter, the village of Albania Longa held a position of religious primacy among Latin villages. The villages originally entitled to participate in the league were 30 in total, and they are called the 30 Alban colonies. But their names are not all recorded. The ritual of this league was the Latin festival, at which, on the Mount of Alba upon a day annually appointed by the chief magistrate for the purpose, an ox was sacrificed by the assembled Latin stock to the Latin god Jupiter. Each community taking part in the ceremony had to contribute to the sacrificial feast. However, the sacred grove of Aricia, the Nemus Diana, on the lake of Ar Aricia was always among the most popular place of pilgrimage for the Latins. Although Alba Longa enjoyed a position of religious primacy, the Alban presidency never held any significant political power over Latium. It was never the capital of a Latin state, and it's probable the extent of the Latin League's jurisdiction was somewhat unsettled and thus fluctuated, yet it remained for its existence not an accidental aggregate of various communities, but the positive expression of the relationship of the Latin stock. The Latin League may not have at all times included all Latin communities, but it never granted the privilege of membership to any that were not Latin. Very early in its existence, Rome acquired the presidency of the League, and Alba Longa appeared as a rival, for which it was destroyed in the mid-7th century BC as the League, as it was, had been dissolved, and foremost families were compelled to move to Rome. Alba Longa, the mother city, the mother city, was dissolved into Rome, the daughter. <laughs> According to Livy, Alba Longa was raised to the ground, spared the temples by King Tullus of Rome. The Latin festival would still be held on the Alba Mount, but by Roman magistrates instead. Anyway, that's all the further I'm going to get into with this. I just, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, brothers and sisters, and it all relates to our Bible. It all relates to the seven churches uh, where Paul... Uh, the seven churches that Christ himself uh, wrote letters to in the book of Revelation, um, the same area where Paul was sent to preach. Um, it's the beginning. Um, if you look at that area on a map, it's it's the beginning of the Western culture and where we get the Western culture. You look at Washington, D.C. and all of our government buildings in America, and they all come from Roman and Greek architecture. This is not an accident, brothers and sisters. This is not an accident. And there's so much more to this. This is a gigantic rabbit hole. But I'm just, I just wanted to share this little bit with you. I'm sure I'm going to dig into more of this later. But I just had to share what the Lord set in front of me to share. Ancient Latium. L-A-T-I-U-M. If you wanted to look that up. God bless you, brothers and sisters. God be with each and every one of you. Um, may the Lord give you strength against the temptations of our flesh in this evil and dark, cold world that we're living in. May the Lord lend you patience through the Holy Spirit sealed within you. And may the Lord heal your heart in these troubled and trying times. God bless you. Much love.